we're going to tour Rancho Bernardo, one of the top suburbs in San Diego and home base to the new half a billion dollar Apple campus here in San Diego. Now look, this is not one of the coastal communities here in San Diego where people like to go tour and visit. This is a little bit farther away. It's about 20 minutes away from the coast, but there are a lot of reasons that make this community so special. And that's exactly what we're talking about today. All right, so let's talk about some of the reasons why you would want to live in Rancho Bernardo. Now, this is an area that, for one, has a lot of jobs, a lot of high paying jobs. You have aerospace and defense, you have technology jobs like Apple, Amazon, Intuit, that are either in Rancho Bernardo or are very, very close by. There's also software sales. Those are probably the biggest sectors here in Rancho Bernardo. And you can expect more jobs to come. There's a big business park here in Rancho Bernardo that houses over 50,000 employees. And if you actually think about it, Rancho Bernardo has a population of about 50,000 people. So it's pretty impressive how many high paying jobs there are right here in Rancho Bernardo. And let's talk about the main reason why people move here. If you go to niche.com, they rate this as one of the best communities in San Diego for raising a family and schools, giving it an A plus rating in both categories. We're in the suburbs. You don't have a ton of walkability, but you have access to just about every single thing you need. So Rancho Bernardo has all of that and more. So Rancho Bernardo is a master plan community from the 1970s. And the plan was to have a park and a community center in every single neighborhood. So when you're driving through Rancho Bernardo, you get two things. You get this distinct kind of 1970s, 1980s, 1990s feel. And then you also have a lot of parks and you have a lot of green space. You're gonna find that all throughout Rancho Bernardo. <laughs> you got it. No, sir, thank you. So Rancho Bernardo is the northernmost residential community in the city of San Diego. It's located off of the 15 freeway, not quite as north as Escondido, and you're surrounded by places like Poway, Rancho Penasquitos, Forest Ranch, a lot of residential communities surrounding this area. And although there are some really great restaurants that you can experience, it's not known for being a walkable community, but it has a ton of this. You have outdoor parks, you have hiking trails, you have Lake Hodges that isn't too far away. There's also a couple country clubs and tennis clubs that you can sign up and be a member of. So in Rancho Bernardo, you have a lot of outdoor activities for you and for your family. <laughs> Hope that looked as cool as it felt. <laughs> So if you're looking to buy a home here in Rancho Bernardo, this is what you need to know. First, there's actually quite a wide range of types of options. Now, although most of these homes are built in the 1970s to 1990s, you're gonna find townhomes, condos, single family homes, and there's quite a lot of them as well. There's a little over 100 homes for sale currently, right now, today, on the market in Rancho Bernardo. And for condos and townhomes, you can expect to pay anywhere from 500 to $800,000. For a single family, it starts at around 800,000 and goes up to 2 million. But the average price home Home for a single family is going to be right around the million dollar mark. So if we're looking into the future of Ranch Bernardo, I think sky is kind of the limit when it comes to this being a great place for an investment. You have lots of high paying technology jobs coming to Ranch Bernardo and around Ranch Bernardo from Apple to Intuit to Amazon, Google, all these big players in the tech industry are opening up offices right here in around Rancho Bernardo. So as we've seen over the last 12 months, this is one of the top places. It's the top five places in San Diego that has seen the highest appreciation. And that's something that we're gonna continue to see moving forward. And if you're gonna be working in Rancho Bernardo or if you want a similar feel, a similar neighborhood that's not too far away, there are two main options or two main areas that I could look at. You can go north up to Escondido and San Marcos where you can get more affordability, or you can go a little bit west into Fairbanks Ranch, Rancho Penasquitos, and Carmel Valley, which is gonna be a little bit more premium and some newer homes as well. So as always, if you are looking to buy or sell a home in San Diego, whether it's Rancho Bernardo or anywhere throughout the county, my team and I, we would love to help. My contact info is down below. Thanks for watching this video. We'll see you next time. Oh,